you guys, it's me, Rachel here, with Sins of Tempo County Corso, doing your little pup date. It's been a while, I know. I've been sick, um, not with anything going around. I um, got stung by a scorpion, I, think, I guess it's called a bark scorpion, and um, anyway, hurt really bad. Um, just really kind of knocked me out and, um, and I've just been like going through that. So, and then, um, and then I didn't upload on my daughter's birthday either, which was Thursday. So yesterday, um, Thursday is actually the day that I got bit, but, or stung. Um, so anyway, so I've been doing things to try to take care of that. Like I um, went and got some UV lights and went out um, yesterday night and the night before and went out and just started killing them. Like they shine, they glow in the dark. So I just went out and just started killing them out on the property. And then we looked through the house and couldn't find any in the house to kill, but we did look. I also went and bought um, some lavender plants and built a little garden on the side of the house. I'll show you guys, but it's it's been raining. Psh, no, it's been raining, so I can't show you it um, right now. But it, it is done, and um, and it looks really beautiful. And so, um, so anyway, so just been trying to take care of that. And then, like I said, um, do Savannah's birthday upright. Psh, and then I also was taking some time to look for a stud for Velocity. And I think I found the person, there's somebody um, located in Dallas that has a really nice dog, the nice pedigree. And so we think that that's going to be a good match. So hopefully that works out. Um, but yeah, very excited about that. Um, so things have been going on just in the background. Um, getting things done and we cleared out a lot of cactus um, whenever we were out looking um, for the scorpions there were definite like you know places where they were more common than others and so um, what I found is that they tend to congregate around the cactus um, and rocks and they don't really like the cedars and um, they pretty much stayed out of our, sh uh, out of the, the shavings around the house, which was really cool. So, um, so anyway, so just went out and did that. Um, the first night, we probably killed over 50 of them, not going to lie. Like, they were, they were everywhere. I, it was, it was honestly, like, it was terrifying, okay? We, all within, a, it, you know, I would say 50 feet of the house. Um... And so, um, the second day really didn't find any around the house, um, but we did find some that were, um, uh, farther out. And so we killed those as well. And then, like I said, we, we took out the cactus and, um, and then, um, so anyway, so I personally think that we really knocked a dent in it and I really feel like that you know, we got it handled, um, and hopefully that is the case, but, you know, nonetheless, um, no ma'am, nonetheless, uh, you know, doing my best. So can't be, I can't do, um, I can't do sprays and stuff cause the dogs, I'm not trying to expose them to any kind of pesticides and I have <laughs> been sleeping on the couch for the last three days just because it happened um, right by my bed and I just, I haven't been able to um, sh shake it yet. I haven't been able to shake that feeling like I'm, I'm exposed in there. So anyway, um, but so I am. Um, so anyway, so we're doing everything we can to kind of, you know, set it up correctly. And um, just found out today too, it's like raining really bad. And I guess there's some kind of, some kind of leak. Um, so that really sucks. Um, not very impressed with this with this house at all, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, um, it is what it is. So, um, 
yeah, but the, the puppies make me happy. Um, Giovanni's over there sleeping because I had him out earlier and I was taking pictures of him and playing with him. And, um, and so anyway, everyone's doing really good. Cashmere's eye is looking a lot better. We got her on some different um, eye drops and those are really working out very well. Her eyes almost cleared up. Velocity is unfortunately still in heat. Preacher is like going crazy um, over her right now. So that, that's that been its own thing. Preacher's just not eating and then uh, walking around crying all the time, which is extremely common behavior out of stud dogs whenever they are not able to fulfill their duties. <laughs> so, hi, pretty girl. Um, so anyway... But nonetheless, um, she should be coming out soon. Whenever they get at that point, they're usually at the end. So, so that's good. Everyone else is doing great. I got um, Belladonna's paperwork in, so yay on that. Nothing else to worry about there. She is officially um, an official dog. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, all of our dogs have to pass health testing before we before they're considered a full, you know, long-term member of the pack as far as with the pro, you know, being used in the program. Um, but nonetheless, um, I do believe that she should probably test, you know, pretty well, um, judging off what I've seen of her so far. So other than that, I did get some pictures of the litter that um, Preacher sired out of another female that I um, was really into. That litter um, is um, just extraordinarily, in, in my eyes, just very nice. They, they have length. They've got just massive size. Um, you know, I mean, be prepared for, you know, it's going to be probably on the scale of like Batista, maybe even Admiral. We'll see. I don't know if he can, if he can even get up there with Admiral, but there's just no telling. But they're very, very large dogs um and there was a blue brindle male that was big and then a black male and those were the two biggest and then the black male overcame the the blue brindle male so hopefully from what i've seen their structure was really good already but you know when you're going for a large dog a really large dog you really want to make sure that the structure's on point because whenever you increase the size of anything you're increasing the pressure and the strain on the body. So any type of structural faults are going to be magnified. They're going to be, um, you know, really put to the test and most likely will end up failing on the dog. So it's very important that you pick, you know, a structurally very sound dog. And for me, um, and for most dogs that are going to be very big, you need to maintain good length and body. And so from what I saw, her dogs, even though they were very big, her female has good length. Even though Preacher, he's not super square, but he could use some length. So she's got it. What we saw in the pups was that it looked like they had it. So, you know, hopefully that's what we get. And um, anyway, and then that'll be... All the studs that I will be bringing in, that's all the males that I will have. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, I know that it's a, you know, with Preacher and then having two Preacher sons, that is a lot of Preacher, but, you know, I personally really love him. Um, and everyone has kind of a cornerstone dog that they use in their program. And for me, Preacher, and, um, you know, is one, he just, he just constantly produces very good dogs in type and structure so i feel like it's a good foundation to build on he does have faults but the cool thing is that he does not have such strong faults that his faults are carried on into his puppies and even if you do see a couple that have it it's not it's not um, to the extent that many dogs do whenever they have a fault you know some dogs when they have a fault they just produce it over and over and over again and you just can't use them so he passes on the good, and he really leaves the bad, and that's a great stud. And that, for me, is a really good dog to put as a cornerstone of my foundation on. So that's why. Um, but we do have a lot, you know, we do have other dogs as well, and it is a long-term game. So we're just going to keep working with the best that we can get and move on from there. And you don't know that you're getting the best 
of a particular stud until you breed them to multiple females and you keep back and you see what they produce and then you know which one actually is the best and so um, so I'm just gonna keep doing that I'm just gonna keep working on them and trying to produce the best dogs that I can produce that are um, the closest to the standard both in type and temperament and we'll see you know what we can do so anyway I hope that you guys are um, having a great day I um, I know that people hate it whenever I apologize for not being around but I do feel bad because you know for me this is my job and I take it seriously and unfortunately I've just been under the weather um, if you could see the bite that I received it's really bad I got um, it was in my shirt and so when I went to put my shirt on it got me in the chest and so my um, it's, I'm just very sore and I haven't been able to really go anywhere because I can't wear anything that like brushes up against it and it literally made like <sighs> it's ugly <laughs> let's just say that it's, it's not just like a bite and it's like oh okay well you know it's gone now no 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 it's like it's like evil <laughs> and it's you can see the evil spreading and it's like a like makes you look like a zombie where it got you at least it did for me so anyway yeah it's bad Savannah said she just walked up she's like it's yeah but it, it just it did it made I don't know if it was because it's sensitive skin or what but it made my skin peel off it was really bad anyway not to be explicit but it's been extremely painful I haven't been getting good sleep because every time I move it hurts and um pray for me that's <laughs> all I can say pray for me so I know that my sister was telling me that anytime you're making big leaps and bounds in your life, there's always going to be things that are kind of testing that and, you know, um, you know, kind of getting in the way and, and you just have to persevere. And so that's what I'm doing, but I did have to take that time off to recover and just kind of get my, um, myself straight because it's been tough <laughs> so it's been tough um, but anyway I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk at you later bye